Continue my guide, this is on console and the C vars. Turn on with the advanced options and find here. For most games, like Octopuff Traveler here, it may be that camera positions might break certain effects, like here the depth of field is for a very specific location, so my close camera um, position does not work well. Um, but there's hit things in here as well, like the upscaling algorithm I mentioned in the performance video. You've got here yeah, the depth of field on and off, motion blur, ambient occlusion, ambient occlusion and a number of different um, things controlling uh, the visual effects like the gamma, the black level, sharpness, things of that nature. But um, to go into some more detail on the tool, we've got Abzu here and it's got some issues in one eye. Uh, mostly can be fixed with sync sequential, but there's some things you can do uh, to improve the um, experience more. So um, yeah, you can just switch there from native stereo to synced to fix that in both eyes. But however, we can use the console. So you can display the console and spawn the console. So spawning the console actually makes it work in the game. Um, and we can dump all the C vars, which I'll explain in a second. We have, like Octopath, the same things as before. Sometimes they might not be available in the UI, but there are a large number that could be activated in the console or in the engine.ini files. So you can see here I can adjust um, the black level, the contrast, sharpness, um, gamma and things to my liking if it isn't in the in-game options. But we're going to move on to the console. So the actual in-game console, once we've spawned the, the real one that works, the one that displays um, doesn't actually do anything. But the one we just spawned can be turned on with the tilde key. Uh, I just switched to my desktop here and we can type in a command. So here I'm going to change water surface reflections to zero. Um, and we're just going to go back to the game. And if we find that particular option in the, the display, we'll see actually the values changed. Now in the display console, you can see all the different values um, and what they mean in their descriptions and its current value, which is quite useful for debugging or figuring out what needs to be turned off. So you can see that's now zero where before it was minus one. Um, these kind of suggestions will be found in the UE Games Discord um, section of the flat to VR. So uh, look for that. Now, I dumped my CVARs before, so if you open the profile for Abzu, you can see now that we have a CVARs data and a CVAR dump. So the CVARs data is just everything I changed in those sliders. So if you want to adjust anything in particular there in text form. But the, the CVAR dump provides every single um, variable, console variable, um, that is uh, applicable. Uh, you could read through all of them or just use some clever control F's um, and find something that you're looking for, camera, player, rendering, things like this. In this one, water, lots of water in this game. And you can see here the description and its current value and the, the defaults. So you can use this to help get a better experience in games. And that's, that's found there. So say we found some settings we want to actually save and it's not in the, the console, we don't want to type it in every time. If you go to the engine.ini file, normally found in the local app data, so here I've got Abzu game, is saved, config, Windows no editor, engine.ini, we can add some more onto the bottom here. So um, add system settings, and then say for example, earlier we want to do water surface reflections as zero instead of minus one, we'd add it there. But in the Discord, lots of people who suggest different CVARs to fix various games. So here's some examples of ones for Exit 8, for example. Now, when you're done, save it, click Properties, Read Only, and then click Apply. Otherwise, the game will change the values.